Um, if you give me just a second, I will share my screen and we will get moving. Um, my screen does talk. I need to get this up. Okay. All right, as Miss Maria said, this is training for our registrars. Um, there we go. All right, so welcome and thank you on behalf of GSDSW. Um, we wanna say a big thank you for taking on this position. Um, as a volunteer registrar of the service unit, you've been appointed to this position because you not only have the qualities we are seeking, but a special interest and commitment to the Girl Scout program. You are, however, not expected to perform the duties of this position alone. The council offers support through your service unit manager, your troop and service unit support specialists, trainings and various services offered by council. Um, just to touch base, this is our agenda for the evening. Um, we'll touch on living the promise in the law, understanding service unit basics, the GSLE, what is a service unit registrar, um, we'll touch on things, the position description, how to register, it's just some of the functions. We'll touch on some things to know and some upcoming information, and then we'll have closing. So living the Girl Scout law and promise. Um, this is something we do every day. You should know these. We'll continue with that. Understanding the service unit basics. Um, you don't have to be experts, but you do have to have basic knowledge. Um, you must have watched the service unit basics training. If you feel you need more guidance, please contact your troop service unit support team. First things first, um, as the registrar, you will also attend the service unit roundtables every month with your manager and your team. They are typically the first Monday of most months. There are exceptions when there are holidays and events. Um, the schedule itself will be sent out soon and they will be all online for all service units. So like we're doing right now with this training um, is how we'll attend, you'll be able to attend the round tables. Um, one of the changes that's occurred is that all service team positions are now three years. This is due to help with secession planning. Um, when there's a question that the service unit team cannot answer, you can reach out to us at info at gsdsw.org. This is the GSLE, the Girl Scout Leadership Experience. What they do, discover, connect, take action. How they do it is girl-led, cooperative learning and learning by doing. Oops. The four pillars, we have the STEM, the life skills, the outdoors and the entrepreneurship. These are the areas that the that form the program foundation for the GSLE. And these are the five key outcomes. Um, develop a strong sense of self, display positive values, seek challenges and learn from setbacks, form and maintain healthy relationships, identify and solve problems in the community. Now we'll get into the nitty gritty of what a service unit registrar is. As you can see here, here's your service unit team. Your manager is, is in the middle. Um, you have all of the other team members. You guys are this awesome little green circle over here. Um, after this training, a position description will be sent out to you all or the links to get to the service unit position description, um, which you will sign and get back to us but we'll go over that here a little bit. The service unit registrar coordinates the annual membership registration of all girl and adult Girl Scout members within a service unit, as well as educates and promotes the use of the online registration process to all. Part of this entails maintaining service unit registration records, educating and promoting early bird and on-time renewals, and checking troop registration compliance. The term of appointment is three years, October 1 to September 30. This position requires an average of six hours per week. 
um, the service unit registrar is supervised by the service unit manager as well as the troops and service unit support team of GSDSW. Um, here's basic overview of the position. You're going to work with the service unit team to manage and provide support for a designated group of troops. You're going to attend service unit team planning meetings as well as service unit meetings. During the monthly service unit meetings, you'll be able to provide a report on providing a report as the registrar. So that would be reporting on troops and um, numbers of members in each and be able to answer questions about those. <clears throat> Excuse me. You will assist members of the service unit with Girl Scout registration process. You'll be aware of and encourage members to register through the online system, maintain accurate troop rosters, educate others and promote early renewal and on-time Girl Scout registration, contact girls and adults and troops who have not re-registered for the current membership year to facilitate their membership renewal. You will work with the service unit product program manager to check that all girls who are selling product and who are responsible for the product sales are registered Girl Scout members. Recommend and mentor a new service unit manager during your third year in this position. Complete service unit position training provided by council. Ensure positive visibility and awareness of Girl Scouting in the community. Be guided by the Girl Scout mission, promise, and law, and remain informed about, comply, and support the most current policies, procedures, and guidelines. Qualifications, you girl focus, personal integrity, adaptability, oral communication, foster diversity, computer skills, time management, and the additional, you do need to be a registered Girl Scout member. Previous scout experience, most of you already have that, <laughs> as do most of us. Completed background check and training, <clears throat> and remain a volunteer in good standing at all times. Here is a little bit deeper dive into what a service unit registrar is. First and foremost, you are a connection with the troop leaders. Um, in that, you explain what your role is as a volunteer service unit registrar. You identify who you, they can go to in your team to answer their questions as well as staff. And you also faci help facilitate in recognizing your volunteers' commitments. You'll guide troop leaders through the registration process. Know the process for adult volunteers to include the background check and any trainings they might need to take. Um, you can help facilitate those on. Make sure all volunteers are in their position and job descriptions and the troops that they lead are in compliance. This is you have your troop leader, you have your co-leader, and you have your five girls, and everybody has the, the requirements that they need. Um, give the new leaders the correct council code, service unit name, and five-digit troop number. You will actually work with recruitment, new troop, and data um, securing the troop numbers. You will help locate the financial assistance applications and help your volunteers, leaders, parents get those filled out um, into the right people for approval. You will be able to, you should know all of the Girl Scout grade levels. At this point, as the registrar, one of the things that you facilitate is the opportunity catalog. This is the listing of all troops that are available and accepting girls. As of today, most of the troops in our council are not displayed in the catalog. We have a council-wide cleanup going on. So as we go into the new year, um, this means you will probably get a lot of questions. Um, I, a lot of, I can't find my troop. This troop's not available. It won't come up. Um, this is why. And I'm working with the troop support and service unit support teams to get this updated and cleaned up for you guys. So they're good to go. How to register. Um, you'll need to know this. You can go to our website at www.gsdsw.org. 
And you have the Be a Volunteer and Become a Girl Scout tabs at the bottom. Um, next, where to find the grade levels. Again, if you refer to gsdsw.org. If you click on the About Girl Scouts, and then our program, you can go down to the grade levels and you'll be able to see the six different grade levels for scouting. Council support. Um, one of the things that we have talked about in the past with registrars um, was the expediency of changes to the troops, changes to the rosters. So to help you guys out, um, Council will be emailing out links for troop to troop transfer requests. So this is with one girl moving to another troop, whether in your service unit, staying in your service unit or not. Also council to council transfer requests. These are girls that are either leaving our council or coming into our council from another council. And then troop update requests. Um, I have currently sent out a survey to all troop leaders to update their troop information to put them back in the catalog. I'm going to vary that to where we will have a constant link to troop updates. So if you run into a troop that needs to change their, their program level or you know any type of update with their troop, you'll have the link to send the request to info. Goal setting. As registrar, you will be sitting in and helping your service team um, Look at goal setting with recruitment numbers, retention numbers, compliance, making sure your troops are and leaders are compliant with Girl Scouts. So there is a service unit planning booklet that you will coordinate with your manager on. Um, Girl Scout presence and welcoming inclusive culture with all of that. You'll, you'll work on those goals with the service unit team. Communication. Communication is key when you work in a team. Um, while your service unit manager holds the major accountability for facilitating communication, each service team member is also responsible for creating an environment that allows all volunteer voices to be heard. What does it look like in the service unit? There should be a forum for open discussion. Volunteers are allowed to share successes and challenges. Diverse viewpoints are expressed and valued. Be available when you are needed. Listen actively. Be present with the people you are talking with. Offer advice in a supportive manner. If you don't know the answer, tell the volunteer you will find it and get back to them ASAP. Confront inappropriate behavior. Work with your manager to address conflicts immediately when presented by the troop consultant or among other team members. Contact your troop service unit support for guidance and support. Your role as a service unit registrar is to be impartial when presented with conflicts and be able to give and handle constructive feedback. Attending the, the service unit meetings, be prepared to report on how many troops and girls and adults are in your service unit. Be available to take questions on registration steps. Offer reminders during service unit meetings on any patterns in registration issues that may be occurring. The opportunity catalog would be one of those patterns right now that are occurring. Um, Various things happen, glitches sometimes with the online system, um, but you'll be aware of those things and be able to report on them. Um, and as always, promote and remind service unit of early bird registration and related promotions. There's, <coughs> excuse me, what the service unit planning packet will look like. You'll coordinate that with your service unit manager. Um, coordinating with the meeting agenda for your service unit teams, registrar will report out in your team meetings as well as the service unit meetings. Conflict management, that's straight across the board with the entire team. Communication is key. Find out what's really going on. Carefully listen to both sides. Use mediation techniques. Involve your troop service unit support team. Develop a plan to resolve the issue. Keep all discussions confidential. And there's two links that'll get sent out as well. 
volunteer essentials in the volunteer policy manual and we'll send out where to find those. Always have a welcoming culture attitude. Girl Scouts is inclusive, listening, engaging. Your meetings and any meeting that you have with any of the volunteers, leaders, adults, parents, um, have a greeter, welcome person at each meeting, um, whether that's you or another volunteer. Service unit manager sets the tone. So your service unit ma service unit manager will will set the tone for for the culture of the meetings, but um, you as the registrar will also help facilitate that. There's service unit president's award. These are just some little tidbits for need to know information for you. The president's award serves as a guide to service units to ensure a well-rounded year of Girl Scouting. It recognizes the efforts of a service unit moving its assigned area toward the achievement of our council goals. This will guide your service unit through a successful year. Missions Connections. This is a webinar series provided by GSUSA for volunteers who support other volunteers with the goal to connect with our lead volunteers across the Girl Scout movement to enhance our ability to deliver the best female leadership development program in the world. Um, here's the links and again we'll send out where to find those. <clears throat> Council will help with the planning throughout the year for your service unit. Service unit will also be evaluated at the end of each year between July and August. Tips for effectively working with a team. Check in regularly, be available, know where to get answers you don't have, usually info at gsdsw.org. Encourage your manager and fellow team members and always be positive. Some upcoming information. Um, for service unit managers and registrars, coming soon to a training near you, we are going to give you access to Looker. Looker is an online tool that provides current, within one business day, membership information for Girl Scout employees and volunteers to leverage in providing the best possible service and support to our members worldwide. Looker gives you access to service unit rosters and memberships analysis, new in the last two weeks. So these are any new members that join the service unit in the last two weeks and troop details. I will be, I will be handling that training and I am hoping to have that pulled together by the end of August, beginning of September, but we will send out a notice um, to let you know when we've scheduled it. And we'll probably have a similar training like this. And there's our, our GIRL. Um, thank you for helping to grow girls as, as volunteers and service unit team members. And there we go. <laughs> Good job, Danielle. Questions. <laughs> um, so we're going to take questions now. So if okay. anyone has specific questions about this training, you can type them into the chat log down below, or you can raise your hand and we can unmute you and you can ask your question. Um, for those of you who were, came into the training a little bit late, please find the chat log so you can type your first and last name into the chat log. And that's the way we're taking attendance. So if you haven't already done it, find the chat log and please uh, type your first and last name in there. Make sure it goes to everyone or at least to Monica Hasso. Who has questions? Thank you, Deanna. Nobody, nobody has questions. Awesome. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> oh wait, oh, you, Deanna, do you have a question? Yes, I do. Thank you. Can you guys hear me now? Yes. yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Um, my first question is, um, if somebody says they have uh, glitches with the online system, who do I get in contact with to let them know about the problem? You like, if somebody can't sign up online, you will reach out to first your troop service unit support. They're your first line. Um, I am your second line. Um, I am all things data, so I am the system. So I will be able to facilitate any glitches or help with some workarounds or anything like that. So 
Okay. But first, reach out to your your service team and then your your service unit, your troop support. I would say Seven. that um, make, making sure everyone knows about info at gsdsw.org because that's the best way to get a hold of us. Okay, that's what I'll do, Maria. Okay. Right. Um, okay, and then also, what do we do when there's no troops open in our service unit for like a level? That the girl's at like say she's second and third grade she's a brownie but there's no brownie troops available in uh in my service unit that could actually be one of two things it could be either troops are not displaying which means they haven't been updated and are non-compliant right now or we may need to create or possibly recruit so then we would reach out to the the troop service unit and recruiters teams um, to see if we can facilitate a group in that area. I'm excited about the Looker program. That sounds really <laughs> cool. No, I really Looker, Looker is very cool. I just got back from Looker Analyst Conference and super, super, super excited. So you guys will have access to Complete rosters for your service units as registrars, your managers and you as registrars. Troop details. <clears throat> it's awesome. Okay. It really is. All right, those are all my questions. Thank you. Thank you so much, Deanna. Does any anybody else have any questions? You can type, type them into the chat log, make sure it goes to everyone. Or you can um, ask to be unmuted. You may be able to unmute yourself. Ask away. That's what um, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm doing this on a, a cell phone and I can't find the chat mode. Oh, well, that's okay. Hi, Kay. Hi, how are you? I just want to make sure you knew I was here, but I can't. On the cell phone, I did not find the chat screen. So that's quite all right. Go ahead and ask your question. Um, I think. When I pushed the button, somebody else had already asked that about finding a troop for someone who we didn't have a troop for that age. So we've just made ours a group troop instead, instead of just dividing them up because we don't have enough troops in Big Spring. So I think I answered my own question when I listened to the other questions. So I appreciate it. And thank you for all the information. Thanks thank for participating. Any other questions? So just as a reminder to everyone, um, if you have not done so yet, please type your first and last name into the chat log. Uh, if you can't find it, you can unmute yourself and let us know you're here. We wanna make sure to take attendance so that we can send you out any updates or anything uh, by email. So we need to know that you're here. Also, uh, we will be sending out the link to this training. Um, it'll be on the website. Um, oh, I didn't post that link. Let me post it now. Uh, that link will be on the website. <clears throat> I'm sorry, for this training and for all the trainings that we've had this week. So um, you will be able to find it and look at any of the other trainings that you might want to look at. Do we have any other questions before, while I'm posting this link? Hmm. Um, I'm supposed to be able to provide a council code. Like I know my service unit name, but I don't know what the council code number is. Our, for Girl Scouts of the Desert Southwest, our council code is 582. I posted the link up there. Um, this training will be online in about 24 hours. We will also have access to all of the, um, the handouts and things like that uh, below uh, in about a week, if not sooner, as well as the service unit planning packet will be on there in about a week on the website. It's not available yet, it will be soon. Um, I didn't, I wasn't aware that I um, needed to do the round table every month. So uh, how do I link into that to 
see the round table meeting? Actually, we will be sending out, we're going to be updating our, our team roster list and you will get an, uh, sent an invitation through email for that Zoom meeting. Okay. All right. All right. All righty. Yes. I'm just like, I'm used to um, the board meetings being at the council office. Right. So but because we're, we're so far spread out and we want to make this an all inclusive going forward with the, the round table, we're going to do it over just like we're doing right now with the zoom. Perfect. All right. That's nice. Any other questions? Okay. Well, we have another training at 7 p.m. That is our recruiter training, and it will be um, given by our recruiters, Natalie and Danny. And so what we'll do is you'll need to log off of this training and then click on the link for the recruiter training if you're going to be on that one. So unless there's any questions, going once, going twice, we will see some of you, hopefully all of you at 7. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hey, Maria. Yeah. We have one more question. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. For the six hours, uh, is that just at the office or count towards events too? Do you have an answer for that, Danielle? Okay. Can everybody hear me okay? Mm -hmm. For some reason, we can't hear you, Maria. Can you hear me okay now? Oh. I, can everybody hear me? Can you guys hear me? I can hear I can, you. Okay, okay. So we ha okay, I can hear you now. Can everybody? So we have one question from Ruben. You want to read that one? Sure. It says, for the six hours, is that just at the office or does that count towards events also? Okay, that's a, it's a total hours, six hours for everything. Yes. All included. Thanks, Ruben. Good question. Any others? All right. Well, hopefully we will see you all at seven. We good to go, Monica? Yep. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. Bye-bye. Have a nice night.